Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you how to do a faux concrete look on this urn. So it's gonna be um, an urn that looks like it's been out in the weather for a while and might have a little bit of moss growing on it and things like that. So I picked up this urn from, I just, I got it for free. And we are going to um, paint it up. So I could not get the foliage out of it. I removed what I could, um, but I could not get the foliage out. So what I'm doing is going around with some painter's tape and what little bit of plastic wrap I had and trying to kind of wrap it around so that I don't get paint on it. Then we're just going to go right in with our paint. So what I am using are a few different colors of paint. I'm going to start um, mixing up something with a little bit of texture. So this is by DecoArt and this is Texture Sand. And then I'm also using um, one of their texture paints that's called Stucco. And we are just mixing those two together. I wanted this to have lots of texture to it. I'll be sure to post the link to those paints in the description of this video. And then I'm taking a chip brush and uh, just literally dabbing it. I'm not brushing it. I am not treating the brush very kindly. I'm using it very roughly and just kind of pouncing and pushing that paint on to create even more texture. We're not looking for something smooth here. We're looking for tons and tons of texture. Um, so you just keep going over the whole thing until you get everything covered. And then we'll start going in with more layers right over top of this. I'm not even going to wait for this to dry. We're going to start in with some more colors. So I'm going to go in with a light gray. And I also wanted a little bit of a greenish gray. So I mixed a little green with the gray to create sort of a greenish gray kind of a color. Um, and then I'm also going to use some burnt umber. I ended up not using that other beige color that I put on the plate. So we're starting with the gray. I'm using the same exact brush and I'm putting a very small amount of paint on my brush. I'm not going overboard with it and you just want to start going over and just kind of stippling it on in random spots. The goal is not to cover this completely. The goal is to just create sort of patchiness so that there are little parts and pieces all over the place. I'm going in now with some burnt umber and doing just very small amounts of the burnt umber as you can see and I just keep repeating this process with the green and the gray until I'm happy with the way it looks honestly the point to this is to just kind of think about how it would look in nature if it had been out sitting in nature for a while it's not supposed to look perfect it's not supposed to look organized it's supposed to look random and um, that's how you're going to really achieve that look um, so just mixing the three different colors together, I never went back in with the um, beige color, the first color that I used. I just used that as a base coat. These other paints that I'm using do not have any of the texture medium in there. They are just regular acrylic paint. And that's what I used for all of this. Now, you could do this technique on lots of different things. If you're doing it on um an item like plastic, I would recommend priming your plastic first before you go in um, with your acrylic paint because um, it is not going to stick to plastic. This acrylic paint will not stick to plastic. And then also, if you're going to be using it outside, I would definitely recommend using an exterior varnish. But that's all there is to it. It's very, very simple. It turned out beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye, everybody.